part 5 of my tutorial. In this lesson I will be talking about lists, how to create list in Erlang, what's the recursive structure of Erlang list, um, how to extract element from the list in Erlang, uh, how to do list concatenation and uh, what is the lists module where it which contains built-in functions for lists. So let's start. For this I will open Erlang shell and I can create new list. For example, I will create list which has five elements by typing something like this. And now uh, the recursive structure of the list is that the list always had head and it always has the tail. And the uh, uh, head is the first element of the list and the tail is the remaining part of the list. Everything except head. Now if I will write something like this, um, Erlang will assign, after evaluating this expression, will assign first element of the list, so one uh, to the head and the remaining list uh, to the tail. And similarly, I could do something like head one, tail one, and uh, I could assign the tail here, and now the head mm, head one will ha has two, and the tail one will have three, four, five, and uh, in this way, a lot of algorithms are implemented. So. I'm processing head and then processing the remaining part of the list. A lot of uh, recursive algorithms. Now this, this was the way how to extract elements from the list. I can also uh, try to extract more elements from my list. So my list L looks like this. And I can try uh, write E1, E2, and then tail2 equals to L. So this uh, this will take uh, two, uh, let's say two first elements from the list, first and the second, and uh, assign it to the E1 and E2, and then to the tail it will assign the remaining part of the list. So now E1 will be equal to 1, E2 will be equal to 2, and the tail 2 will be equal to 3, 4, 5. So this way you can uh, process the lists. Now let's say I have second list, which has something like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, uh, not like this, but yeah, like this. I created the new list, and if I want to concatenate two lists, I am typing something like this. So now I have, yeah, this will create the new list out of these two lists. Uh, so this is it. And now Erlang has the set of built-in functions. So uh, by I can import this lists module and uh, start using it. In this case I will just uh, yeah, refer to the module name and then type for example sum. So this is the built-in function. And I can type for example something like this to calculate the sum of all elements in in this list. Um, I can also, for example, use some built built in a met, uh, function to check what's the second element of this list. And uh, it also contains a map function and a couple of other functions which are very useful for working with lists in Erlang. So I hope this will make the lists in Erlang a little more clear to you. Uh, thanks for listening and stay tuned for other videos.